I really feel lucky to be here today with you, Graham, because our story of our family, when I think about it, it's really a story of strong women raising women. And for me, you've been such an incredible example and foundation for my life and how I raise my two daughters that I just feel honored to be here today to talk about your story and our family. When I sat down and thought about it, there have been five generations of very strong women before you. Our first strong woman came from Germany and she was a nurse in the Civil War. The strongest woman, I think, was my Babci. Babci is grandmother in Polish and she came from Poland alone at 16 years old. Uh, at that time, wealthy families would pay for the passage, and they were indentured servants. And that meant that you had to pay off the passage. And she worked seven days a week and lived in their home. She had one day off a month, and it took her two years to pay off that debt. She, After the two years, she met Simon Kornacki, and uh, they had six children. They were six girls and two boys. The two boys died. The unfortunate thing was that um, Jaji, that's grandpa in Polish, was an alcoholic. So it took all of the girls and Babci to run the store that they had. It was a butcher store, a delicatessen and grocery. On the other side of the store was a soda fountain and candy candy case, which was my favorite place. <laughs> There's a story in the family that uh, we were having an Easter dinner and I was three years old and I wanted to go and have some candy and they told me no. Well, I decided that I was going to go and when they went to look for me, there I was sitting in the candy case in my white Easter outfit, putting <laughs> candy in my mouth. Uh, so Babji had a very hard time because he died um, very young, and she was left with the six girls. My mother, who was the oldest, was 12 years old, and they ran a store together with Babji. And um, my mother, uh, when she graduated from grade school, was not allowed to go to high school. And the nuns came and tried to persuade Babchi, and she said no, that she needed her to support, help support the family. She went to work at 14 years old and uh, gave all of her salary and was given $5 a week of her own. So that was, when you think about a 14-year-old taking the responsibility, that was my mother, and uh, she was always very conscious of having money and being without money, and uh, it colored her whole life. So you felt that growing up? Too. I felt that growing up because uh, we would ask to go out, and she would say, no, we don't have any money. It was a very hard life for her. And then my mom basically raised me by herself, too. So. What do you think was the secret with all these women raising other women and the success that, that they passed along? We were just persevering and persistent and probably a little bit stubborn. Our children meant so much to us. I wanted to give my child and you the love that I think that I didn't get. And uh, we were very successful, I think, as far as uh, your mother is a tremendous success, you're a success, and that's all I can ask for, and that has made my life. Well, Graham, thank you so much for the time today, for everything that you've done for me, for my mom, for all these generations of women that you've set up to come after you, and I just can't thank you enough, and I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs>